Greetings, family. Spiritual Justice, Part 3. Everybody that loved Dolph or Nipsey <clears throat> the gods the young gods that walked in the flesh that these niggas took out I want y'all to understand something in the spiritual realm it's a war going on I'm sure all y'all know this but I don't think y'all understand to what extent. You got the ancestors, the ones which you have passed on. They up there putting out this energy, this heavy death energy again. But being that the universe then flipped in his own the star seed side uh, the ones the ancestors have come to get and the ones who walked in the flesh who were the gods walking in the flesh and what I mean by that is that you had some highly evolved beings walking in the flesh that um, they done took out. So, let me explain to y'all. Don't worry. Because, I'm going to say this. You see what's happening. You see what's happening to the nigga that was the crash test dummy. And one of the shooters, which it was snipers, that took Nipsey out. They do this to all of them. When they know your bloodline, your genetics, I told you they know who you are before we come through the portal, which is our mother's womb. Right? So they knew who Nipsey was. They knew who Doc was. And when they wouldn't comply because they needed their energy because they had such a big influence and they wasn't going. See, the ancestors not motherfucking playing no more. You hear me? They are not fucking playing. Eric Holder, he gonna die in jail, in prison. If you make it there, it's already written for him. You feel me? Black youngster would be dead before the year is over with. Yo Gotti, more than likely, he going to end up in prison. See, they use them niggas for crash test dummies to do their dirty work, to throw rocks and hide their hands, but they can't no more. So once them niggas start getting exposed, if they don't kill them or make them crazy, put them in a crazy house or some shit before the information comes out that the higher ups are the ones who are really behind all this shit. You feel me? Because all these niggas are crash test dummies. Because they know they can use a bag to persuade a nigga to do anything. They can give a nigga a bag to bend over and spread his ass cheeks and get fucked. Or 
bent somebody else over. A nigga. And fuck them in the ass. Just for that bag. To be a part of the industry. To be a part of that demonic cycle. They know. That niggas are. So. Glorified. They want to be seen so bad. All this shit is behind a nigga. Being able to be seen. And everybody. To have. They name in their mouth. Fame. A lot of these niggas y'all call celebrities are fucking broke. They got a black card. The industry run their money. When they be showing y'all them racks and shit, they have to get permission to take that out their account. Y'all don't hear me. I told y'all my uncle was in the music business for over 40 years. All that shit is a facade, man. All of it. They actors and actresses in a role. They get the closest people to you. No matter how much you done help the nigga. No, much, no matter how much you done put a nigga on. They want what you have. So I'm saying this. Spiritual justice is coming for all you niggas. And I ain't going to do nothing but sit back with my pom-poms out. With my legs crossed and my herbal tea. I ain't going to be smoking these motherfuckers no more. But bathing in the sun. Looking at the justice. You feel me? You can't run from it. Y'all niggas shouldn't have did that shit. If you niggas were smart and you knew what the ancestors had planned, my nigga, y'all would have jumped on Dolph side. Y'all would have jumped on Nip side. And y'all would have supported them. No. These dick sucking niggas love to suck another nigga dick to get what they want. And that comes from niggas being programmed to be nothing. Nothing at all. So, y'all don't worry. Spiritual justice is coming. I'm not talking about no, no jail time. They might give a nigga like your goddess some jail time. They might let him live. But on the ancestral side, y'all can't stop that energy. No matter how many other niggas you kill, the genome's time is up. It's over with. So y'all don't worry. Them niggas that did wrong, you don't touch a guy. You don't fuck with a guy. You just don't. Y'all fucked up. They say hell is a fiery place. It can be. But what the ancestors got for y'all niggas that's coming? Oh nigga. You gonna wish you was burning in some fire, nigga. So... All uh, y'all that had love for the young gods, Nip, Dolph, don't worry. Spiritual justice is coming. Because it ain't even finna be no more music industry. Y'all remember I said this shit. It's way more celebrities about to die. way more. I told you the universe is in a cleansing process. Can't nothing stop it. 
The silver sun is out. Burning these genomes ass up. With the melanites, y'all get your ass in that sun and live in that motherfucker. You hear me? Do y'all uh, spiritual detoxification? Get your ionic foot cleanse. Your monatomic gold. Get your diet right. Stop eating that meat. Listen. Because y'all eat spirits. That's where all this sickness come from. Everything started in the spiritual before it manifests in the physical. I keep telling y'all. Don't worry. Spiritual justice is coming. And if you with that bullshit, it's coming for your ass too. Get your shit together. And to them celebrities or to them niggas that did wrong by the guys that was walking in the flesh, y'all out of here, baby. Enjoy it now. Your time is short. Listen. For the year up with, the ones I just named, watch and see what happens. Ancestors don't do no bullshit and ain't doing no plan. I say.